Welcome to week four, challenge one. This is the WPA2 handshake. The WPA2 is an extension on WPA1 where they've increased the randomness by using the ESSID value as part of the key stream. We're going to put our interface in monitor mode. We're going to start dumping packets just like the WPA attack, putting them on the desktop so we can use aircrack again to write these out. We're going to use aircrack in a slightly different manner this way. Uh, instead of blindly disconnecting everybody connected to the access point, what we'll do is we'll target one specific station. That's a little quieter attack. If, if you're doing this professionally, it's more a little more subtle. If everybody gets kicked off an access point, there's a better chance that somebody in IT will get called to find out what's going on. So we're going to send 10 packets. The dash C is the client, so this time we're going to target the one client that we know is connected. Alright, so then we're going to give it the access point ID again. Give it the interface. It's sending the directed DOPS. You see the acknowledges coming back? That's the ACS, ACKS, the acknowledgement. Let's look and see if we get the handshake. There it is up in the upper right hand corner again. So we're going to use aircrack again to write out the hashcat compliant file that we need. Another thing that we're going to do is there's a service. Uh, he basically has like a cluster of GPUs. You can send him a file and he will run it through his word list and also brute force it. And then that way you can see if there's any issues. Hashcat compliance file type. This will be the same file that we wrote to using arrow dump. So we've only captured one handshake, so we select it. Wrote it out, it's the same thing as the A nonce, S nonce. Comes out as type 2 because it's WPA2. And we have the ESS ID, that's the only other part that it uses for the keystream. And we have the MIC. So we have every part that we need to crack this. Philippe Mart is going to blur out my personal email address. When I signed up for this API key, I didn't really know that anyone was ever going to see this. It's my hacker handle that I earned at a conference, and it's really not safe for work, and it's not professional, so I'm hoping she blurs it out. So basically, I've just uploaded that file. I, it shows me I have nine submissions left to that queue, and it'll start cracking. I'll get an email when that's finished. I don't believe that password is in his word list, so it doesn't find it. Same as before, we're going to use hash crack to use the word list attack. It runs slightly slower uh, just because the additional uh, items it has to add into the key stream with the ESS ID, but it's not significant enough to really make a difference. I'm not going to make you watch that. I think this one took about 114 minutes. So we'll start it up again. It's the same hash type for hashcat. So if you use that same M2500, you'll be good to go.